SpaceX is confident that the next Starship test flight will usher in a new era of space exploration. After the first test ended in disappointment, Elon Musk believes that all the upgrades SpaceX has made to the rocket in the following months will help propel the Starship into the history books. Let's talk about these new upgrades and what hurdles the company still needs to overcome before the second test flight. After the thunderous sounds, deep holes and debris settled at SpaceX's Starbase launch pad in Boca Chica Beach, South Texas, following Starship's first orbital test flight, doubts loomed over the fate of the Starship project. Many questioned whether it could recover from the aftermath. In response, SpaceX confidently asserted that the project would continue despite the skepticism. Undeterred by the overwhelming doubt, the Starship team persevered, gaining even more momentum. Over the past few months, they implemented over a thousand changes, demonstrating their commitment to overcoming challenges. SpaceX is determined to prove that the upcoming Starship flight will yield different results than the previous one. Meanwhile, at Starbase, engineers continue their diligent work like busy bees. However, their current focal point is the S25 and B9 prototypes, specifically the S25 and B9. These prototypes will take center stage in the Starship's second orbital test flight, following a series of upgrades and tests. This colossal craft is now counting down, eagerly anticipating the day when the legal constraints holding it back are lifted, allowing it to unleash its powerful capabilities and grace the sky. The sight of S25 and B9 may evoke a sense of nostalgia for many, reminiscent of S24 and B7, the prototypes that stood in the same place about half a year ago. Upon closer examination, notable differences become apparent between the previous Starship prototype S24 and B7 and the current iteration. These modifications were prompted by a critical incident that occurred on April 20th at SpaceX's launch site. As the countdown reached its final moments, smoke and dust filled the air, and the engines roared to life, propelling S24 and B7 into the sky. However, the launch was marred by complications. Some engines failed to function properly, yet the spacecraft continued its ascent, plagued by technical issues. The two stages of the rocket failed to separate, leading to a tumbling motion in mid-air. In response, the command center made the difficult decision to trigger the self-destruct sequence, prematurely ending the integrated flight test just under four minutes into the mission. In the aftermath, as the smoke and dust settled, a significant problem became evident. A sizable crater had formed beneath the Ulm, and concrete debris was scattered around the starbase area. Immediate investigations were launched, revealing several issues, particularly in the engine separation process and launch system. One major concern was the engine performance. During takeoff, several engines failed to activate and others ceased functioning mid-flight. The root cause was traced back to the hydraulic unit system and igniter instability, preventing some engines from engaging. Additionally, the energy generated during flight proved to be too much for certain engine components such as hot air ducts, nozzles, and manifolds. They were unable to withstand the intense heat and pressure, leading to multiple engine failures. To address the challenges encountered in the previous Starship flight, SpaceX implemented a series of crucial upgrades. One significant enhancement focused on the engine system. The manifolds were improved to increase torque on the bolts, preventing leaks, and the hot air ducts and nozzles were reinforced to withstand high levels of heat and pressure. Additionally, a new electric TVC thrust vector control system was devised, replacing the previous hydraulic unit. This change aimed to enhance engine stability and reliability, minimizing the risk of engine failure during or before flight. Another critical modification involved the separation process between the rocket stages. In the previous flight, the separation system malfunctioned, preventing the two stages from detaching. This forced SpaceX to intentionally destroy the system mid-flight. Beyond this separation issue, the previous system had additional drawbacks. During separation, the engines of the Super Heavy, the first stage, would shut down, the two stages would separate, and then the engines of the second stage would activate. This created a brief but critical period with no thrust. To maintain continuous thrust, the second stage would need to be activated earlier. However, the heat and pressure generated by the second stage engines could potentially damage components of the two stages or even the entire vehicle. To solve this problem, SpaceX turned to a proven solution from the past, the hot staging mechanism. This method, employed by the Soviet N1 and other rockets since the last century, involves the use of a ring with vents positioned between the two stages. These vents redirect the heat and pressure generated by the second stage engines outward, preventing them from accumulating and damaging the first stage or the entire vehicle. This mechanism also ensures that the second stage can activate promptly upon separation, maintaining a continuous thrust throughout the flight. In addition to these upgrades, the newly implemented mechanism serves to simplify and enhance the reliability of the separation process, addressing issues that plagued the previous launch. Another significant alteration involved the launch system. During the prior flight, the colossal thrust of the rocket caused severe damage below the Ulm. Besides creating a deep hole, pieces of concrete were shattered and scattered. 
causing harm to nearby facilities, notably denting the fuel tanks at the tank farm. To tackle this challenge, SpaceX introduced a novel solution, the water deluge system. This system comprises a hexagonal steel plate made up of seven smaller steel plates positioned beneath the ulm. These plates are connected to a manifold system linked to a water supply tank via deluge pipes. Water is pumped to the steel plates and then sprayed upwards through the small holes resembling an inverted gigantic shower head. The robust steel plates coupled with the innovative water system work together to reduce the temperature and pressure generated by the 33 Raptor 2 engines. This protective measure safeguards the launch system and surrounding infrastructures from potential damage. These three modifications represent only a fraction of the extensive changes made since the pivotal flight, totaling more than a thousand adjustments within a mere five months. This rapid pace of innovation is unprecedented. Most companies would require a year or more to achieve similar progress. Yet, at SpaceX, this remarkable feat is a testament to their unique capabilities. Reflecting on these changes, SpaceX's founder, Elon Musk, expressed his confidence, stating, I think the probability of this next flight getting to orbit is much higher than the last one, maybe it's like 60%. Although this percentage might seem modest, Musk's statement underscores his faith in the transformative impact of the modifications made by him and his colleagues, emphasizing the substantial difference they expect to achieve in the upcoming launch. Presently, the Starship S25 and B9 duo stands proudly on the launch pad, replacing the previous S24 and B7, demonstrating SpaceX's readiness to validate Elon Musk's confidence in their capabilities. However, SpaceX faces a significant hurdle, gaining approval from government agencies. Despite announcing the completion of 57 out of 63 corrective actions mandated by the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration, and successful testing of the full-stack process, the launch has been notably delayed. Initially, there was hope for a mid-September launch, but as October nears its end, the anticipation continues. Following the FAA, the Fish and Wildlife Service is the next agency set to review Starship's improvements post the April 20th explosion. This extended regulatory process indicates that witnessing Starship soaring back into the sky might be deferred until 2024. Nevertheless, if the S25 and B9 pair achieves a successful launch, it will mark a significant milestone in the aerospace industry and human history, potentially heralding the era of interplanetary civilization. While the challenges appear daunting, it's essential to acknowledge SpaceX's remarkable achievements. They've implemented over a thousand changes in less than six months, a feat that demonstrates their unparalleled dedication and innovation. The debris piles and sinkholes left behind by the S24 and B7 may seem disastrous to onlookers. But for SpaceX, failure serves as a stepping stone to future success. SpaceX has a history of turning failures into opportunities for growth. The valuable experience gained from the setbacks with S24 and B7 paved the way for the extensive changes seen in the current S25 and B9 configuration. From engine modifications to alterations in the separation method and launch system, SpaceX has made significant strides. Now, the world waits in anticipation for the final outcome, eagerly anticipating the success that these relentless efforts are poised to achieve. What do you think? Is Elon Musk's confidence in the upcoming test flight justified? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.